What is the number one reason that customers don't buy a vehicle at the first dealership they visit? Simple. The sales consultant did not ask them to buy. What's fascinating about this is a recent Canadian study which found that 48% of customers would have purchased a vehicle had they been asked by the sales consultant. They liked the vehicle, they liked the dealership, and of course, they liked the sales consultant. In our own survey of sales consultants from coast to coast, we asked the question, do you ask for the sale every time? Provided you have treated your customers to your dealership's purchase experience and they have selected a new or pre-owned vehicle. 60% of sales consultants indicated that they do, in fact, ask for the sale every time, while 40% indicated that they do not. The 40% of the no's struggle with the idea of asking for the sale every time. Now, if you're a sales consultant and part of this group, maybe you fear being too pushy or making your customers feel uncomfortable or worse, alienating them. After all, nobody wants to be branded as the stereotypical high pressure salesperson. You may also believe that your customers are simply not ready to make a purchase decision and the sale will be continued on another day. This thinking is problematic. Many customers have been researching the purchase of a new vehicle for up to a year before they even visit their first dealership. With the vast information available online, they're hyper-informed. The research, for the most part, is complete. The vehicle has been chosen. They're not at the beginning of their purchase journey, they're at the end. And consider these thoughts. When a person walks into a dealership, they have an understanding that it'll be your goal to treat them to a sales process, or more bluntly, to try to sell them a car. Two, most people know that automotive sales consultants are paid on a commission basis. Three, most people perceive sales consultants to be skilled negotiators and closers. And finally, most people are incredibly busy with both their personal lives and careers. So if they can complete most of the research online, it stands to reason that by the time they visit a dealership, they're ready, or very close to, making a purchase decision. Admittedly, maybe you're afraid to ask for the sale because you don't want to hear the no from your customer. This is quite natural. As humans, we fear or avoid rejection. However, let's delve into rejection. If you ask somebody out on a date or to marry you and they say no, that's probably a personal rejection. They don't like or want you, your personality, your attitude, your physical appearance, your values, etc. When a customer says no to you, when you ask for the sale, it is almost never a personal rejection. If a customer truly doesn't like you, they will concoct a reason to slip away from you within the first 10 to 15 minutes of meeting you. I have to pick up my son at hockey practice, I have a dentist appointment, etc. Hence, when they say no when you ask for the sale, it is not a personal rejection. They are simply saying no to some aspect of a business transaction. Maybe they're uncomfortable with the monthly payment. Maybe they want more money for their trade-in or maybe they want a discount on the vehicle price, etc. If you accept in your mind that a no is not a personal rejection, but rather it is a no to a business transaction, then you'll also understand that your customer may be prepared to buy now if you can simply solve their concern. In other words, it might just be the terms of the agreement that need to be tweaked. So why don't customers simply tell us that they're ready to buy a new vehicle once at a dealership instead of saying things like, we're just looking, this is the first dealership we've been to, we still want to look at other vehicles, etc. There are situations where a customer tells you they're not ready to buy a new vehicle, and in some cases, this may be true. However, once they spend time with you, develop a relationship, and experience a vehicle presentation and demonstration drive, many will change their mind and decide to make a purchase decision. You have satisfied their need for more information and have created emotion and excitement. There are other customers that are just a little nervous or apprehensive about making the commitment. 
After all, it is a big decision. However, with your knowledge, enthusiasm, attentiveness, and a well-crafted vehicle presentation and demonstration, they may be, and often want to be, nudged just a little to help them make their decision. There are other customers that fully intend on buying a vehicle today. However, they may indicate that they're not ready to make a decision as not to feel obligated to a sales consultant and a dealership. Should you not provide the level of service and professionalism that they're looking for, or if you do not have the vehicle that they actually want. Other customers may play a little hard to get, acting aggressive or indifferent as a strategy to get a better deal. Still, other customers, often business professionals, feel they should not buy a vehicle from a sales consultant that does not ask for the sale. It is their belief that it is the sales consultant's job to ask for the sale and that they should not be rewarded with their business if they do not. So consider making the word ask as your focus for the rest of this year. Professional sales consultants always ask for the sale in a clear, confident, and concise manner. Mr. Lee, I'm going to prepare some payment options on this vehicle. If there's an option that fits your lifestyle, could we go ahead with this? Or simply, Mr. Lee, is this the vehicle that you would like to own? I'm Chris Schultes.